What is up? I am back today after some technical difficulties yesterday. I was going to do a first impression on these Moda um, slash Royal and Lane Nickel um, Artiste brush dupes, but somehow my webcam did not record my audio, so I'm hoping it doesn't do it again today because if it does, I will be quite, quite pissed off. <laughs> but anyway, so instead, I'm going to do a review and a demo type of thing. Um, first of all, I just want to give recognition to how freaking beautiful these brushes are. Um, they also inspired my eye makeup today, but look at this mermaid. Is that not the prettiest thing you've seen in like the makeup community ever? Um, but yeah, other than beauty, they are extremely soft and super, super dense extremely dense. Um, I used them yesterday when I was doing the first impression to cream contour and with my foundation and I liked it to contour better than to apply foundation but I think it's because the foundation I used was too thin so I'm going to try and use a thicker foundation today. Okie dokie so I primed my face with Too Faced Hangover Primer um, and I'm going to be using the Perfection Lumiere Velvet um, I'm going to squirt it on the back of my hand and do dots on my face. And then I, uh, after I blended with the big foundation brush, which kind of makes it a little bit patchy for some reason. I don't know if that's just the pressure I'm using or if it's the brush. I don't know. But it does make the foundation a little bit patchy. Um, my baby's kind of gripey today. Um, but then this is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I do like it for the concealer I found out yesterday. Um, I think it does better with thicker products some reason. Um, it is very hard to get up close to your eye so I think I'm gonna use a smaller brush to get up close to my eye. Yeah, I, I still don't really like it for foundation at all. Um, I'm probably going to practice cream contouring more often because these did make it easier yesterday. I liked to um, lay it down with this little one and then I started to blend it with the medium one um, and it just, just, it's, I don't know, I didn't really like the medium one to spread it so I ended up using the big one to spread it and then that worked really well. Um, but I ended up using way too much product and my forehead was a disaster. Um, so I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably going to continue to cream contour and just use these two. So, yeah, They're, they definitely have their use though, but I would not say it's foundation. I'm going to use a cream bronzer. I'm going to use the Chanel um, Soleil Tan de Chanel on the medium one. Just kind of rub it around in there. And kind of blend around with it. I do not like that. That looks terrible. Absolutely freaking terrible. This is the brush I normally use for this bronzer. 
yeah thank god i'm not going anywhere i don't know if you can tell but it made like a straight line and then a hole and then it's like blended <laughs> oh good lord yeah i am not doing the other side with this same brush no okay yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna use this one for my forehead Alrighty, so I really, mm, same opinion as I had yesterday, man. I just feel heavy with it. Like, it might be because I'm so used to a beauty blender that's damp, you know? But I just, I feel product on my face, and I'm not used to that. Like, I don't normally feel product on my face at all. I don't know, I feel like if you're gonna get something like this, just go ahead and get the Artiste, honestly. Just get the one artiste that you truly want because while these are nice you can only use them for one thing it seems to me I mean that is just my personal opinion at the end of the day but it really just seems like they're only good for cream contouring because they just spread the foundation too thin like, yeah my opinion is I'm gonna use them for cream contouring and that's it um they're beautiful and I will admire them every day but I'm definitely not gonna use them every day um so yeah that was the Moda um, Toothbrush Artiste Dupes. And um, if you would like a tutorial on this super bold blue mermaidy look, please give this video a thumbs up because I would love to do a tutorial on it. <laughs> um, it was super easy. It was only three shadows and I used my fingers for most of it. Um, so thanks for being here, you guys, and I will catch you next time. Cause I got issues, but you got